The city's reputation for crime is an, is an image council is hoping to shed. The 11 members of the mayor's task force on crime have done their jobs. The task force has now been disbanded and its recommendations are heading to council this evening. It's been under a year since the mayor's task force on crime was struck, but its last meeting has been held and a set of six recommendations will head before the Committee of the Whole. The task force involved 11 members from various different backgrounds, such as Corrections and the RCMP. In the sectors that we have that parallel the city of Surrey's crime reduction strategy, they have four strands to their crime reduction model, and so I wanted to find people that, that work within those four strands. Those four strands include prevention, detection, deterrence and safety promotion. Mayor Sherry Green says there are recommendations in the report that will be visible to the community, such as a way residents can report incidents of graffiti much as they can a pothole. School District 57 was also part of the task force to add the youth element to the outcomes. I'm excited because as I mentioned a component of that is around coordinating uh, approaches to youth intervention and, and uh, so I see the school district uh, uh, will have a, a role to play I believe moving forward. While the task force is specific to Prince George, School District 57's footprint is much broader. None of us really have an unlimited well of dollars and so we are much better at networking and working together and pooling resources. Um, resource, human resources and pooling uh, financial resources to make things happen. The city studied Surrey's task force and other northern BC communities have made inquiries to the efforts in Prince George. There are a number of northern communities that are also sitting uh, highly ranked on the uh, crime severity index that Statistics Canada puts out each July. So I am speaking with each of those mayors and the, and the police leadership in those communities and we are talking about a northern working group. Other recommendations include identifying crime hotspots and the implementation of a city watch program. If approved, the hope is to have some of the initiatives launched immediately. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.